You can get these cans of air, these compressed cans of air, and when you um, when you allow the the uh, gas to come out, you can feel almost immediately the temperature of the can goes down. I have some slow motion video of, of the particles coming out here, and we're going to learn a lot about it from the slow motion video. Now I wanted to start out with a pretty wide shot. You can see the material coming out sputtering at first, and then it reaches a nice steady state flow. This is somewhere around 1,500 frames per second. You can see the narrow jet, but you can also see droplets kind of going sideways and down. Here we're going to inch our way closer with more magnification and a little bit faster frame rate. So this is somewhere around 3,000 frames per second. Notice the little card right below with the lines scribbled on it, the little vertical lines. That's a focusing card. It's very, very difficult with these high magnification, slow motion footage to get them to be in focus. So I kind of use that to help me keep it in focus as I pull the trigger. One thing I think is neat to look at is as the jet forms, little droplets form around the nozzle and kind of dribble and drop down there. And you can see the droplets form and spray off at an angle as the expansion happens. Now I think this is pretty cool personally, but what I really want to do is get as close as I can to it and slow the footage down. So here we go, a higher magnification lens and about 3,500 frames a second. As I pull the trigger, notice the droplets just faintly forming a jet and splashing. And I want you to focus on the expansion of the liquid you see. Notice it's not all flying directly forward. It's coming out at an angle and you can see the separation between the adjacent droplets getting larger. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.